Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a specific challenge that many Ansible users encounter. One of our viewers is working with the AWS EC2 module and wants to log the user data sent to AWS with each command. However, they want to avoid verbose output from all other tasks that aren't relevant. So the question is, how can they enable verbosity specifically for the EC2 module? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To enable verbose output, specifically for the AWS EC2 module in Ansible, we can use the debug module to log the user data being sent. This allows us to focus on the information we need without cluttering the output from other tasks. First, let's define the user data in a variable. This will help us manage it easily and reference it later in our playbook. Next, we will use the debug module to print the user data before we call the EC2 module. This way, we can see exactly what is being sent to AWS. Now, we can proceed to use the EC2 module to launch an instance, passing the user data variable. This will ensure that the correct user data is sent to AWS. Finally, run your playbook with the Nash V option to see the debug output along with the EC2 module's output. This will give you the verbosity you need for the user data without affecting other tasks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To enable verbose output for a specific task in Ansible, there's no direct method. However, you can use a workaround. This approach allows you to see detailed output for the EC2 action while keeping other tasks quiet. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.